Assalamualaikum. This is a brief introduction to hijama brought to you by Health Hijama Cupping Therapy in London, UK. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hijama. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Hijama is an Arabic word for an ancient method of healing known in English as wet cupping. The aim is to draw a small amount of blood from the circulation by making superficial incisions on the surface of the skin, thus releasing toxins out of the body. Cupping has been known since ancient times, but Islam came, promoted its status and confirmed its benefits. Hijama was a common practice of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him and his companions, for the treatment of a range of ailments, as well as a form of body maintenance and health promotion. The hijama process involves applying cups on various areas of the body and creating a vacuum. Small cuts are made onto the skin surface to suck out the impure or harmful blood, which is then collected into the cups. The specific points that are cupped depend on the area of pain or the illness to be treated. Hijama is preventative maintenance for the body in much the same way a service is to a car. Many diseases and disorders are caused by the failure of blood to circulate properly in the body. Hijama addresses these issues by improving blood circulation, stimulating the immune system and rebalancing the body's hormone and energy levels. Hijama therapy is effective in treating many conditions as it removes toxins, stagnation and blood congestion with minimal additional stress to the internal organs, helping the body to release chemicals in the brain that reduce stress and depression. It also facilitates a sufficient flow of nutrition to the affected tissues and stimulates the flow of blood and lymph. There are many hadiths which recommend using hijama as a treatment for Muslims. It is recommended that hijama be practiced on certain odd days of the Islamic calendar. The sunnah days for hijama fall on the 17th, 19th and 21st days of every month. Hijama cupping on the upper back, also known as kahil points, on the sunnah hijama days are our most popular treatment. Alhamdulillah, we receive much positive feedback from patients after hijama. Some people feel active and energetic. Some sleep better. Others feel a sense of calm and well-being. Different people react differently to hijama treatment. Inshallah, everyone will benefit in some way. Cupping on the head is also considered as a sunnah point as the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu had hijama on his head. It clears blockages in blood vessels and relieves pressure on the brain. In conclusion, hijama is a form of natural preventative treatment which has proved to be effective in many cases for the treatment of illnesses and as a general maintenance program for your body. So whether you are suffering from headaches or insomnia, high blood pressure or cholesterol, give hijama a try and inshallah you will be pleasantly surprised with the results. <laughs> Bye.